Welcome everybody to this video. Here's Ahmad Nasser and this is my channel YouTube Studio 07. In this video we want to introduce to you jQuery templating and we want to include many things um, like pagination, uh, like spinner, and like jQuery templates. So we gonna put all these together in just one tutorial. So let's begin. First thing before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, Stereo07, and this is my Facebook account. Uh, you can join us there and ask a question, any question you want. Uh, all right, let's begin. Uh, why do we need the jQuery templates? Uh, sometimes we have uh, to work with external web services such as uh, JSON web service or XML paste web service or any web service you want and call that web service inside um, your HTML page. So there's many ways to do that. One of them is using jQuery um, JSON uh, templating. Uh, there's many templates now that are available on the web today and this tutorial we want to give you the standard jQuery um, templating. So pretty much you have to do uh, something like this. You have a list of people and you have to loop uh, this list of people and uh, print out to a specified HTML tag. So here I print out the person name, the person hire date, the person Twitter name to a container element and I loop through all the people inside the list in order to print out to the specified element. There's another way to do that. You can use jQuery template. You just assign the template and give it the data, people, and after that, you just append it to the container. So you can see the simplified code with the separation of data and the separation of the HTML. So this is an awesome way to work with jQuery templates. So we do the separation from data from the HTML. That is the easiest way to explain why do we need to use uh, jQuery templates. Uh, there's two ways of rendering. You can directly use um, dollar sign, the template, and you give the data object and the expression at the same time, or you can reference the template and give it the data source. So I prefer to use the second way. I just define my template and I reference it and I give it the data source. Or you can use, um, you know, the dollar sign, the template, you give the expression that you want, and give it the object. So in this tutorial, we want to use the second way, which is going to be the last sign data source, bind it to the template. So I'm just going to reference my template and give it the data source. And after that, I can put it whatever I want. So this is the template with the data. So you need to put a place for this template. So, um, you have this data source with data, so you need the location to locate this template with filled and binded data. So I can take this template and put it inside a div, or put it inside a body, or inside um, an ordered list. So you are able to put it wherever you want inside your HTML page. Um, in order to work with jQuery template, you have to include the jQuery. Uh, you know, I, I just use jQuery, uh, the GS included from Google Library and from any CDN, or you can reference um, any jQuery above 1.4. And the second script you want to reference in your uh, document is jQuery template. So here we're using min, the, the minimized version of jQuery template. You can use the full version. No problem. So you need to reference this inside your document. After that, you're ready to go and you can get started. Uh, this is an example of how we define a JSON object. We just type var instructor, we give it first name, hire date, new date, or we can define another uh, array of instructors. So I just define instructors. This is the first uh, instructor, this is the second with the same values, and let's see we have a nested object inside 
uh, the instructor. We have favorite technology, jQuery, um, you know, web framework, and others. So we can move to the next step right now uh, in the in the in the body. So here I just define a, a place where where do I where I need to include my um, let me say uh, my uh, binded uh, template. So here I have a container which is instructor container. This is going to be uh, the place where I want to take the template and put it inside this div. Uh, we have other um, table, so we can also um, make other template here and make other location or make other control, uh, controller like instructor list. So here you can insert, uh, you know, the, you can append to this source. We're going to see how we're going to do that. So first thing you, in order to uh, work with template, you have to uh, make uh, template with uh, with the expressions. Uh, so since we're working with this instructor here, and instructor has a first name, hire date, date, uh, you you can reference um, the attribute inside that instructor inside that object by typing td dollar sign open these two brackets and type the attribute name. So I'm just gonna reference the first name, the hire date, Twitter, and since I'm working with template, notice here, I just define my template, give it an ID, and the type of this template is unique. Uh, it's going to be ignored by the browser, so nothing going to pop up on the screen. You're going to see not you, you're not going to see anything because the type here is text x jQuery template. So since this type is for a template, the browser will ignore it. So we move to the next step. We reference this template by using uh, the uh, hash instructor. We just reference the ID of the template. And after that, the second wave calling a template. The template, we give it the data source, which is instructor. So I'm just going to take this whole array, JSON array, and give it to uh, the template here. And after that, I just want to take this binded template with a fill data source and a bend it to the instructor list. So instructor list as you can see here is just here. So I'm just gonna take this TD row with a, all the element inside and bind them directly to the instructor list. So I don't want to do any kind of for each loop. So it's dynamically it's almost um, done for you. So here we have other option. You can take this TR and put it in other HTML document or PHP document, and then use the dollar sign to get this object. And then in the response, we got data. And this data is just the HTML element. So it's just the template. So I can use here other way, which is gonna call um, dollar sign the template. Well, for the data, this data, and for the instructor, this is the thir third way, um, or the first, like the first way, like the first step here, when we use um, the last side of the template, we give it the expression and the object. We do the same thing, but um, you know, using expression, using a string. So we uh, call a bin to instructor list. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna bind them here. So these are three ways, or two ways to work with jQuery templates. Um, basic template tags. Uh, we have a dollar sign, uh, two brackets expression. You can we mean by expression, it's an attribute, or it's a function. So you can call function. You can call. You can make an if statement. You can do whatever you want with an expression. Uh, we're talking about if. Else. Sometimes you need to check for a condition if it's bigger than something, if it's equal to something, if the length is bigger than um, three, five. You have to check uh, for a condition. So you can use uh, if, else uh, tags in your um, template. Uh, you can use each. Sometimes you need to loop through uh, an array, a nested array. You need to loop through elements. So you have to use um, uh, the for the each loop here. We have defined, for example, here a function called format date, and we got we just give it an input date, and we return two date string, 
we convert this input date to to date string and we can call this here inside our template so we just define template we need to format date you see dollar sign format date and we just pass him passing the higher date and this higher date is gonna be uh, you know um, uh, an expression you just call a function here inside your uh, inside your uh, uh, template so here we got we got we just reference the first name the Twitter and we got an, an if statement here you can check if favorite technology uh, is not uh, null and it's defined and there is it's not equal to null and um, it's exist ex existing here in the function in the in the object so I gotta go through with this if statement and just want to print out all the favorite technologies inside this um, array so if it's not equal to null I'm just gonna go through this you uh, throw this loop and I just want to print out a loop through each of the technologies and printing printing out all the elements inside an I. So after that, if the favorite technology is not existing, just gonna print out maybe you are a manager. And here I just end up with an if statement. Alright, so this is you know this is the first thing I just want to um, reference in this video. Let me see here the time we get we got 12 minutes so um, maybe I just want to break this video into the second part uh, here is the implementation part we just created uh, reference to the jQuery jQuery template and we just created additional UTL, UTIL file in order to work with pagination and here um, here we got uh, the index the main index file which contains all the HTML code we're gonna see this video in the next um, uh, video part two, uh, but just let me give you an instruct and a, and a quick hint about the second video. You can refresh the video here. You can see we got a spinner. Spinner is just an image loaded uh, while pages page is not fully uh, loaded. So you're just gonna you know uh, call a spinner. After spinner is loaded, you can see here we got all the elements. It's uh, used by the jQuery template in order to uh, get all these uh, articles. So, and we did additional thing. We did pagination. So you can go navigate through the elements, go previous, next, and all these uh, pagination is is done using uh, jQuery pagination. All right, guys. Um, so this is pretty much uh, for part one about jQuery templating. In next video, we're gonna go to in practice demo and uh, trying to explain to you the whole technology behind uh, this the the implementation of this uh, video. So we're gonna be able to do all this uh, pagination and jQuery templating and page loading spinner here. Uh, in the next video, we're gonna group them in just one video. This is, is a, just a quick introduction. Uh, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.